Welcome to Theo Cooks. Today we are going native, we are going back to the motherland of Cyprus and we are doing one of the most well-known Greek dishes there is, which is Gleftigo. <music> really simply, <clears throat> Gleftigo is best done with the shoulder of lamb because it's very, very fatty. It's a slow-cooked dish. It celebrates the flavours of Cyprus. First thing first, season your meat. Grab a bit of salt, put that all over, get some pepper. Season both sides. The legend behind Gleftigo is that the bandits in the old country years and years and years ago would have come down from the Trudos Mountains, stolen a goat at that time, probably rather than lamb, and they would have gone back up to the mountains and buried the goat and cooked it within the ground. The reason for that is so the outlaw bandits wouldn't be spotted with fires burning. So they'd burn the fire in the daytime when no one would see it, and then at night, they'd cover it all up with the meat in the ground and that would sit there for 12 hours, 24 hours. And when they take it out, it would be beautiful and succulent. So even the Greek outlaws knew to enjoy good food. Get your garlic cloves, put them there. We've got a couple of bay leaves. We're going to grab a little bit of parsley, which we're just going to roughly chop. And our lemon. Get yourself a piece of foil. As always, a bit of olive oil. Done. Get yourself a nice red onion. Chop this. And this is roughly chopped. You're not going to eat this stuff. It's just going to give an aromatic to the meat itself. Drop them onto the foil. Get some of your parsley. Get a bay leaf. Grab a bit of rosemary. Get a couple of your cloves of garlic. This is village food that the Greeks would have eaten and it's become one of the most well-known dishes around the world. Normally this would have been done in, a, in coals in a wood-burning fire. Because we haven't got that, one of the things I do is put a little bit of smoked paprika on it, which will just give an edge of some of that smokiness that it's not going to get from being in your oven. Get your lemon, give that a squeeze, rub it in, and on the other side, rub that in. A little bit of dried oregano, and this is Greek dried oregano. Take another couple of slices of onion, pop that on there, olive oil, Squeeze the rest of that lemon, throw in a couple of these lemon bits, it's all going to add to the flavour. Traditionally in Cyprus, when you would do this, they would always throw a few potatoes in, which would cook it. If you like, this was the original foil one pot dinner. Everything was put into it and then wrapped. Now you're going to wrap this several times, this needs to be airtight. Wrap it round. So when this comes out of the oven and you taste it, you are going to be transported to the Trudos Mountains with views, the sun on your chest, the smell of freshly cooked lamb, slow cooked for hours, and you're going to suddenly realise why it's one of the most famous Greek dishes known in the world. That is done. Pop that into a roasting dish. This is somewhere in the medium. If I was doing this in a conventional oven, this would be at 170 degrees for a fan assisted oven. That's only half a shoulder there. Now you can use a leg, you can use other cuts. The shoulder works best because it's fatty. And that fat is going to render, it's going to melt, the juices are going to go flow all over that meat, you're going to eat it, you're going to want to plaster that oil all over your body as you dive into that gorgeous lump of meat right there. The cleft goes been in the oven for the last three hours and I am well excited about this piece of meat. So let's get it out now and do an unveiling. Oh, you can smell it. You can already smell it. We're going to use some scissors to do this. Break a hole with the knife, cut this away, open, ow, oh the smell is phenomenal, look at that, that is stunning, look at that meat, every time I burn myself, mm, that is phenomenally good, the potatoes they'll be cooked perfectly, but we're not going to finish it quite yet. Grab some of these juices that come out of the lamb. I'm just going to pour that back over the meat. And the reason we're doing this is because I'm going to pop this back in the oven, uncovered, for five, ten minutes maximum. Put a little bit of salt on top. 
and now we wait again. It's been in there for about 10 minutes. We've already opened it up, put on a bit of salt to crisp it up and it should be done. Can you get sizzling? Oh, look at that, perfect. So bear in mind, this was only for half a shoulder of lamb. If this bone will fall out. It will literally fall out there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to take this out as one piece. The smells are phenomenal. You've got the smell of the oregano, the lamb smells awesome. You can see now the skin is crisped up nicely as well. Let's cut into this. We're all dying to see what it looks like. Lovely bit of lamb. I mean, look at that meat. It is so tender, it is literally falling off the bone. And that's the bone coming straight out. Beautiful. Mm. That's magical. Absolute stunning. That is super hot. I'll give it a squeeze of lemon. That's good to go. That is good to go. Dive on in and help yourselves. Thank you for watching Theo Cooks today. It's been a pleasure presenting to you and feeding you. I hope you're well and I look forward to hearing your comments. Please subscribe.